Selena, the, the word Parkinson's, the diagnosis of Parkinson's uh, can shatter someone when they first get diagnosed. How do you deal with the emotional impact? I think it's support. I think it's a comprehensive support from everyone that we work with. So I, I oftentimes will tell people, you, this, this is a long-term chronic disorder that you're going to live with. And so it, it doesn't change your lifespan. It does change some of your lifestyle. And so it's a matter of doing your exercises, taking your medications, but then ultimately I want you to live the life that you want to live. What's the role of a therapist? Do you use uh, clinical therapists? Um Yes. Psychotherapists? So in our comprehensive center at Hogue, what we do is we have a social worker, we have a therapist, we have a whole center, a nursing navigator that will help navigate through just the, the shock and the trial of learning that you have a chronic disorder. Um, it's like any chronic disease, it does affect you emotionally, exactly. whether it's diabetes or Parkinson's or cancer. We know um, that uh, anxiety and depression come with those. Mindy, what differentiates uh, Hogue's Salisbury program for Parkinson's and movement disorders? I know uh, you've experienced other places. Uh, tell us why you gravitated to, to Hogue. I joined Hogue because of the opportunities for our patients. It's, it's a team approach. All the specialists are in one place. The nice thing about it is we communicate and make sure that the patient has everything they need to actually move forward with their disease and so that they feel healthy. So people can uh, easily die with Parkinson's as compared to from Parkinson's. Correct. Absolutely. That's at least some hope that you give your patients, I take it, that you can have an altered but a good quality of life nonetheless uh, for as long as you live. That's why I jump into like exercise and taking care of your body and your brain because if you can do that, you can, you, you can continue to improve yourself as time goes by. It's all about motivation with this disease. I mean, if you can push yourself to a place that you feel good from top to bottom, this disease will just be something that you have. It's not that who you are. It makes you a, identified as Parkinson's disease. And that's how I feel it's really important to, to tell our patients about well, that. I love ending this discussion on motivation because um, it's early in the morning as we <laughs> film this. And, you got me motivated uh, to, for my workday through your energy and your enthusiasm and your dedication to folks who have Parkinson's, Parkinsonism, and other types of movement disorders. So thank you very much for leading the uh, Salisbury program for Parkinson's and movement disorders and for spending time with us this morning. And uh, we'll see you very soon. Thank you.